And tonight, James Pindle of WMURPoliticalScoop.com offers his analysis of the state of the race for the Republican primary in the 1st Congressional District and how the general election just might play out. This year, there are two main Republican candidates competing for the right to take on Democratic incumbent Congresswoman Carol Shea Porter. This first congressional district includes Manchester, the Seacoast, and the Lakes region. Right now, the state of the race for the Republican primary, which will take place on September 9th, is that it's likely former Congressman Frank Ginta will be the nominee. Ginta has won the nomination the last two times, and because of that, he has significant name recognition and organization. Ginta and his main primary challenger, former UNH Business School Dean Dan Innes, have been fighting over whether experience helps or hurts them among voters. What we do know is that Washington has to change direction. It's simply not working. And if we've been sending that type of person down there for the last 20 years and we don't get results, we've got to send something different down there. And that's the case that I'm making. Uh, but the reality is in New Hampshire, uh, I think it's vital to be out in the public. I think it's vital to be meeting with people because we are a state that expects that our representatives are close to the people. Uh, that's in direct contrast, I think, to what you're seeing with Carol Shea Porter. And no matter who wins this Republican primary, though, both will face an uphill battle against Democrat Shea Porter this November. Overall, this race is still listed as lean Democrat, as it was a month ago. Even though Shea Porter will have to deal with sagging poll numbers for fellow Democrat President Obama, polling says she is more popular and she has raised significantly more, much more money that will help her overcome attacks. For WMUR Political Scoop, I'm James Pendle.